Baxter gets them all. So anyway, those are fun. Great hat. Great models. Actually, I suddenly have to go potty. So I'm going to start my slot here. I've actually scheduled eight seconds for criticism, so that you can leave that to the end. <laughs> and I need to first mention that the the data that I wanted to present would take about 60 minutes to do, and I've got to schedule maybe 13 minutes. So I feel a lot like Dolly Parton's bra here. I mean, what do you leave in and what do you take out? Try to hang out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave out causation and only look at correlation between uh, religious believers and crime, or non-religious believers and crime. That's the subject of my presentation. The crime. You find that a lot of uh, fundamentalist religionists will say uh, atheists are, they misbehave, they're social deviants, uh, crime, uh, atheists tend to commit more crime, but you'll also find a lot of atheists that will say, uh, or non-believers, I should say, um, agnostics, atheists, or as we'll see in another slide, um, the American Religious Identification uh, Survey calls them nuns, or nons, a lot of them will say that, well, atheists commit a lot fewer crimes. For example, in the United States, you have like 0.2% of the incarcerated people in prisons that are uh, self-identified as atheists. Therefore, they commit fewer crimes. I'm going to show, if we only look at the correlation, this is not true. If you, um, it is not true that nons or non non-religions commit fewer crimes, and it's also not true that they commit more crimes. And I'm going to show that correlation-wise to address the issue of causation, what causes people to commit crimes, what causes people to be religious, can't be done in 13 minutes. Which is... <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> the whole topic of this is, this group of people tends to say, well, these people are evil, so we need to fix these people. Some of these people say, well, these people are the problem, we need to fix them. As far as I can tell, it, neither of those are true. Uh, looking at correlation, um, United States, um, dysfunctionality with other countries, similar uh, just social dysfunctions, uh, of which one metric is crime. Correlation is not shown, causation therefore you can ignore because uh, before you want to go out and look for causation, you want to make sure that, well, it appears to be the case. So let's look and see if there's any evidence to support that. We, I can't show, but as far as I know, nobody else has been able to show correlation between religion and crime, or non-religion and crime. Somebody, um, an obnoxious not a uh, know-it-all, uh, Francis Bacon said, the prudent question is one half of wisdom. <coughs> when he meant prudent, he meant well thought out. And it is my contention that the question, do atheists or agnostics or nons commit more or less crimes is not the prudent question, not, a, not the valid question. The prudent person would say, and I tried to do a boob shot here because, you know, Dolly Parton, how do you follow up Dolly Parton? Um, a bikini shot, I couldn't put the <laughs> letters on it. Parenthetical element. The prudent question is, like I said, what social factors <coughs> Uh, induce people to commit crimes or um, be religious or not? Uh, that is the prudent question. You then need to ask, are there common elements between committing, uh, inducing uh, criminal behavior and religious behavior? You could look at uh, economics. Do poor people commit more crime? And if so, 
are poor pe people more religious? Uh, in the United States, the answer is yes. But in other countries, the answer is neither. So I'm going to look at uh, FBI statistics, the Federal Bureau of Investigation for the year 2008, and I'm going to compare it with the religious, religious oh, I should also say, uh, even if I show, if, if, even if there is a apparent correlation, you still after that have to show causation. So just like a dialogue from Sylvester Stallone in a Rambo, Rambo movie, it may not mean anything. <laughs> it, he, he, you know, <laughs> you know it just, he, he may not be saying anything, the data may not be saying anything, you have to, even if there's a slight correlation, you would then have to follow that with causation and as far as I know, nobody's been able to do that. I am first going to show the United States and compare it with several other countries that are similar uh, sociologically, economically, industrial uh, way. By the way, the link to all of my sources is on the Skeptic Camp uh, webpage. So if you're interested in looking at the data and where I got it, it's, there's a link next to Gutter Pile. I included the link in a tweet. Ah, thank you. In the Skeptic Camp 5280 account. Uh, that will help. Um, I just recently up updated, updated that, so um, the data two days ago. Uh, this study looked at uh, similar societies and it looked at dysfunctionality and then compared it to how religious those, fun those, those societies are. And if you just throw out, uh, uh, as we're going to see, you throw out the United States, you can see a trend that the more successful, the more healthy a society is, society is, the less religious, the more secular it is. Uh, which is not true if you look, um, which I'm going to show, United States state by state. Um, there is something terribly, terribly wrong with the United States when it comes to social health. And we're going to see that in a bit. This, the comparison between various countries that are similar looked at several key indicators for social health, what they call functional and dysfunctional. And it includes incarceration in, in, in prisons, which the United States is just way off the graph. Um, the United States incarcerates a hell of a lot of the citizens um, compared to other countries. Um, teen pregnancy, um, sex, uh, venereal diseases, the United States um, it's astounding just how how high the, um, for instance, gonorrhea in young people in the United States. It's just way off the chart compared to other countries. Um, if you actually look at the data and you can see my link, you'll see that in some countries, the rate is so small that it doesn't even fit on the graph. And then you have the United States way up here for people 19 or under that have gonorrhea. This is a major social dysfunction uh, uh, trait that this study looked at. And when we're, we're looking at these, most of these are quantitative, I admit, where there's actual numbers, but there's other things that you have to do um, you don't have the actual numbers, or they didn't have actual numbers, so they kind of uh, quantified it with uh, judgment calls. So some of these, the error bars are actually large. So, so uh, on this slide you mentioned incarceration. Yes. I, I always hear people bring up the <coughs> people who are in prison are always uh, being more religious than the general population. In the United States, yes. Well, I mean, that's what I was going to ask. Is, is that true outside the United States? No. United States in the prison system, uh, Christians, Jews, and Islam, uh, mu uh, Muslims, they get special privilege and special special rights. So it is in the, the prisoner's best interest to say that they, they have a religion. Exactly. So that 0.2% of incarceration in the United States for non-theists, I don't believe it. 
They also looked at religious religiosity in those countries, and here's some of the metrics that they use. And we don't have time to go through them. And here's the graph for comparing those countries. And here's the United States, and here's Ireland, and you have Norway up here with the most healthy, and it's almost the most secular, and you also have uh, Denmark, and you also have Sweden. These are all much healthier than the United States, and Ireland comes in second as the most religious. You have the most religious, the most secular, and at the bottom, the most dysfunctional, and the most healthy. And if you want to look at the metrics, and you want to look at the error bars, you need to look at the links on the Skeptic Camp website, and you can look at the actual data. How were, uh, which countries are on that chart? chart? Uh, the most similar to the United States economically, industrially, um, socially, except for dysfunctional. Gotcha. Uh, there's other countries that are really close, but these have the actual metrics. These, these countries publish their crime rate, their, sex, uh, their very venereal disease rates, and stuff like that. Okay, so I compared the FBI year 2008 with the American Religious Identification Survey, and I sorted that by the percentage of atheists that said they were, uh, or I should say nons, I sorted that high to low, and I left out Puerto Rico, Hawaii, and Alaska because the, uh, the Religious Identification Survey did not include those states. And the FBI monitors several uh, crimes. And here we see violent crime. This is, the red line is atheists. I have it sorted by high and low. If atheists were people committing, commit, uh, doing more crime or less crime, we should see the trend line going up or down. We do not. What's the x-axis? Yeah. The x-axis is actually states. Um, when you sort the eighth, the nines, um, oh, I see the states that. go, for instance, this is the um, District of Columbia, and I think this is Maine. So you have slightly more crime as you have less agents. The, 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 the linear is so slight that that's well within the noise um, error bar. Two minutes. Murder, same thing, flat. So atheists are not committing more murder or less murder. Same with rape. And New Mexico is the highest there in um, statistics. Robbery, same thing. By the way, this is the District of Columbia. You will find that the District of Columbia has seven high records for these. Same with assault, you're getting a very slight trend as the number of atheists go down, or nons, I should say, go down, the number of crimes, or assaults, go up. But that's still, if you look at the data going up and down, that's still in the noise limit. What about blasting? <laughs> <laughs> Property crime, same thing, flat. Burglary! <laughs> Atheists commit fewer bur burglaries, and my hypothesis is the crucifixes on the walls keep them out. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the holy water on the Marcy threshold. And death, <laughs> yes. Marcy and death, same thing, well within the error bar. <coughs> Motor vehicles, very slightly down, which means atheists still more guard. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that we have learned from this, this data Atheists do not commit more or less uh, crime. Say that last part again. <laughs> Nons do not commit any more or any less crimes than theists. <laughs> and stay the hell out of the <laughs> <laughs>